We've got some very interesting news to take a look at here today involving one of the New York Rangers' top prospects overall in EJ Emery, the first round pick from this year's 2024 NHL draft. And I would also say he is the top Rangers defense prospect as well, definitely the one with the highest upside. So, in today's video, we're going to take a look at that news here, which is regarding a former New York Ranger and one of the coaches from the U.S. National Development Program who coached E.J. Emery for two years there as an assistant coach, Matt Gilroy, the former Ranger defenseman. He had some pretty high praise and kind of talked about E.J. Emery and kind of what he could bring to this New York Rangers team down the road. So we're going to take a look at that and more regarding the New York Rangers top defense prospect E.J. Emery in today's video. And EJ is a player who I think will probably need two full seasons at the college level where he is committed to playing this upcoming season with the University of North Dakota. I think he'll probably take two full seasons there at least, maybe go back for a third, but after two seasons, I think the Rangers will probably kind of you know, take a look at his development, kind of see where he's at, whether or not he is ready to take that big jump to the NHL or possibly end up going to the AHL for a season or two or possibly just returning back to college for a third season. I think that's kind of the earliest possible scenario is after two full seasons at the college level. So maybe by you know, 2026, 2027, potentially, but it could be even longer after that. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes, you know, three, possibly four years before we actually manage a level where this is a very talented prospect. He's a very raw prospect, though, very talented guy, but it definitely could take at least a few years before we see him at the pro level even, or possibly even at the NHL level. Take a look at a guy like Gabe Pro there, as talented as he is, he's still going back for his second year at the college level there. So if EJ went back for a third year at the college level, or possibly went to the AHL first, after two full seasons at the college level, it would not be a big deal at all. It definitely would not mean he's a bust by any means. He's a very raw prospect, still developing, still has a long way to go in his development path to get to the NHL, but definitely could be a very good player at the NHL level one day for the New York Rangers. And before we carry on here, I just want to say I did make a full kind of in-depth break down slash player scouting report on EJ once he was drafted by the Rangers this summer. So if you want to check the video, I will have it linked at the end of this video. It kind of pop up there in the last 15 seconds or so. So definitely take a look at that if you want a more kind of in-depth player breakdown on EJ Amory, kind of his height, weight, kind of all that kind of stuff there, you know, his past where he kind of played and all that good stuff involving EJ and in a very in-depth video just specifically on him. But carrying on here though and taking a look here at the quotes from the former Ranger, Matt Gilroy, who was also a coach at the US NTDP. He was there with the U17 team in 2022-23. Coach EJ Emery there, and then made the move to the U18 team alongside EJ, who took that step up there this past season as well. So he coached him for two seasons there with the US NTDP team, which is very good to see there. He's got to coach him for two seasons there as assistant coach. Obviously, was a coach for him, so definitely has some in-depth kind of view on him, which we're going to take a look at right now. And these quotes are from Jim Cerny of Forever Blue Shirts as well, and this article is from the Hockey News. So they say here, Rangers fans are going to love him. Gilroy said via Jim Cerny of Forever Blue Shirts, quote, to be a kid at such a young age and be so driven and focused, it's pretty wild to see, Gilroy said. I think his strength is how he understands defense. It's such a hard skill to learn, and he already understands it at a high, high level. So high praise there from Gilroy, the former New York Rangers defenseman at the NHL level there, who coached him for two years with the U.S. team there in the National Development Program. Gilroy also said he's going to a great program at North Dakota, and he's only going to get better. I think he's just scratching the surface of what he's going to be as a player. To see him over the next few years is going to be very exciting. Rangers fans should be excited. So that is great to hear from you know a former Rangers player who's been in the NHL level there. He's played multiple seasons there, played three seasons with the Rangers, five total at the NHL level. So a fairly long time NHLer, played over 250 games there. A lot of experience has been a coach now for the past few years. And this is a guy who coached him personally as assistant coach there with the U.S. team. So he's obviously a guy who's kind of worked, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sure, at moments with EJ personally, which is great to see there. He's obviously providing some great in-depth kind of talk about EJ. And I think this is a guy who could possibly end up one day being a true steal. Now, he's obviously got a long way to go before he actually kind of proves to be a full-on, you know, steal as a first-round pick, as if he just makes the NHL and is a decent player. Not really a steal, I would say, but if he can prove to be a top-four caliber defenseman, I definitely think he has that kind of upside. He could definitely possibly be a full-on steal for this Rangers team, which would definitely use more defensemen coming in over the next few years as well. He does play right side there, so... Guy Jacob Truba will leave a kind of hole there eventually, whether it is, you know, at some point this season or next offseason or one after that. 
We'll have to wait and see. Guy Truba does have two years left, so maybe in two years the Rangers are signing kind of a kind of bridge right-handed defenseman there for a one or two-year deal to kind of tie themselves over. Poor guy like EJ Amory kind of joins the team there. We also have a guy at the college level named Drew Fortescue. He's a left-handed defenseman there. Played with same thing with the U.S. National Development Program. There is now at Boston College alongside Gabe Perot. So. He's a left-handed guy there. He's another great defense prospect. I would say they're kind of number one and two there. I would say EJ's one, Drew's two, but two very fantastic young defensemen, a lefty and a righty, which is great to see. Both kind of more defensive guys than offense kind of guys there, but I do think EJ definitely has the upside to possibly develop more of an offensive game, which could kind of turn him into more of a two-way defenseman than just a more defensive guy. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button for daily New York Rangers content as we get closer to this upcoming season and all throughout this upcoming season as well. But definitely don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this Rangers prospect, EJ Emery. I think he's a very talented one. Definitely the top Rangers prospect. Has the highest upside, I would say, among defense prospects in this system currently. So let me know your thoughts on EJ here and the former first round pick from this year's draft. And also don't forget to check out my video that's linked right now. Kind of showing a more in-depth kind of scouting report on EJ Emery himself as a player. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. See ya.